Hey everyone, I'm Sam from the Aragon Growth Guild. Today we're going to be importing existing tokens into your new DAO on the Aragon app for token voting. Um, and we're also going to be wrapping and unwrapping those tokens so that your members can participate in governance. So let's get into the demo. Start from app.aragon.org. I'm in a staging environment right now, so my link looks a little different. I'm going to create a DAO. Click build your DAO and then choose whichever chain your token is minted on. So I'm gonna be doing a testnet token on the Gorley blockchain. So I've chosen this. Okay, so now create your DAO. Cool. Grab your DAO.eth subdomain if you're creating your DAO on mainnet. This is just a testnet. Perfect. Okay, so you've got your description, add any other links here, click next. And then now we're going to get into actually importing the token. So I'm choosing token holders. And yes, we already have an ERC20 token. Now all you need to do is paste in the contract address of your token. You probably won't know what this is off the top of your head. So just head over to your wallet Click the token you want to use, and then you're just going to view that asset in an explorer. And this is how you can find that token address. And so I just copied it from over here. We're on Etherscan. Head back over to the app and then paste that in. So you can see that this token that has already been minted elsewhere, that this is compatible. It follows the ERC20 votes standard. So that means that I can import it directly into my DAO in the app. Now you're going to choose who is eligible to create proposals. So I'm gonna go with token holders. You can also open it up to any wallet, but of course be aware that that means that any wallet anywhere on that network can create a proposal in your DAO. So that could be pot potential risk. Going with token holders, we're gonna go minimum one token. Now set your governance settings just like you would for any other DAO that you're creating on the app. So support threshold, 50%, I'm gonna leave it there. Minimum participation, move this up and down. Um, this helps you visualize how many tokens will need to participate in the vote. So if I set it at 19%, you can see that 19 tokens is required because there are 100 of this token that I just imported. So I'm gonna go a little lower, 10. Minimum duration, I'm gonna keep it out one day. Um, and then early execution, I'm gonna say yes, and that means no vote change. Click next. Now just go through and make sure all of these values are correct. Okay, these values are correct. Deploy your DAO. Now we're going to create a DAO with a token that does not follow the ERC20 vote standard and that needs to be wrapped. So create a DAO, build your DAO. I'm gonna be on Mumbai this time. Click next and then describe your DAO, continue. So choose token holders and then yes, we already have an ERC20 token. And then to grab that contract address, we're going to go back over to our block explorer. So I wanna use link. So I'm going to open up the polygon scan and then just grab that contract address right here. Okay, head back to the app, paste it in. Okay, so this requires wrapping. That means that all of the token holders who hold this token in their wallets need to wrap the token. If the token's not automatically wrapped when it's imported into your DAO, it's just imported as the token that can be used for voting. But you're going to need to talk with your token holders and ask them to wrap it in the app, which I'll show you after this. And then you set a support threshold. For tokens that do need to be wrapped, for the minimum participation, we have just an extra little module that helps you understand how many tokens you're going to need to get wrapped to 
reach that minimum participation rate that you're setting. Sometimes it can be challenging to get token holders to go through and wrap their tokens. So you might want to set a lower minimum participation rate. So say that you got uh, 5% of all of your token holders to wrap their, their tokens, then you can see um, exactly how much G link, which is governance link, so that's that's wrapped link in the Aragon app, how much is needed to reach this minimum participation. So you can adjust this here, move things up and down, um, but you're probably gonna wanna start this pretty low at first, uh, just because people are starting to get their tokens wrapped and you can always increase this later with a vote. So you can go ahead and start that low. This here uh, is not a setting you have to choose. It's just for your own reference. Minimum duration, keep that at one day. Early execution, yes, and next. Okay, so choose that these are all correct. Okay, now deploy your DAO. Approve the transaction. Okay, launch your dashboard. Open your DAO. Now you can see the typical DAO homepage. So in order to wrap your tokens, head down here and click join the DAO. Now choose the amount of tokens you wanna to wrap. So you can see I have 20 link here, so I'm gonna choose max and then just click approve. Now, this is setting a spending cap on how many tokens the Aragon app can use in governance. So I'm gonna choose max, that's all the tokens I have. Next, and then approve that. Now for the second transaction, you have to actually wrap them. So click wrap and then confirm that. Okay, so now your token has been successfully wrapped. You can click this button, add token symbol, to add that symbol into your wallet so you can see what your balance is. So I'm gonna click add token. And then just hop over here and see the community and you're all good to go, you have your wrapped token.